this isn't a real gorilla. Every other land animal Obviously. we've seen underwater wears a helmet and is drawn in a cartoony style. The gorilla is shown in a live action style, and the only time we ever see live action characters is when they're human. So I believe both the gorilla and the horse he rides away on are humans wearing costumes. The filmmakers set this whole thing up just to make the episode more entertaining. What it do, baby? Back again with another reaction. We got more SpongeBob Conspiracy. Y'all enjoyed the first one, so we're going to get into the second one. But first, if you're a YouTube or Twitch streamer, you need free copyright music free of charge. Link in the description. Surrounds by Internet City. Check it out. Use it for YouTube videos, Twitch streams. Let's get into this SpongeBob Conspiracy, the television the show. Series. SpongeBob SquarePants is yeah. not what you think it is. There is a secret right. group of puppet masters who are always watching the citizens of Bikini Bob and pulling the strings. Hidden within Bikini Bottom are spies that keep an eye on the characters and make sure everything goes to plan. This is a conspiracy that will fundamentally change the way you look at the show SpongeBob SquarePants, Let's and I believe it's all actually intended by the creators, and I'm gonna prove it. This is the television theory. Okay, 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 okay. Bro, this is, this is you guys so had cool. a great reaction to my Squilliam Fancyson theory, and I had yeah, a lot of making good it. Squilliam, you lying, deceiving bastard! I didn't even realize that! Damn, so we trust me got when I say video. that what I've discovered this time is much, much bigger. To start this theory, okay. we have to go back to the very beginning of the very first episode of SpongeBob SquarePants. Ah, the sea. So fascinating. So wonderful. Here, we see Bikini Bottom, teeming with life. Home of one of my favorite creatures, SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob. Yes, of course he lives in a pineapple, you silly. So let me ask you a question. Why does he live Who's in a pineapple? Who's speaking in this clip? Thanks. Well, obviously that's just the narrator. We hear his voice many times throughout the show. Ah, uh, Goo Lagoon. So a sneaky mud for you and me. Ah, uh, the, the crusty, crusty crab. crab. Through these doors pass all the many kinds of undersea life. Half spouting scoop. Okay, okay, okay. Students oh, 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 oh. the rules of the road. But who exactly is the narrator? Well, he's just the narrator, right? We're not supposed to think about who he is or why we're hearing him. Lots of shows have narrator framing devices we're not supposed to think about. Caillou was amazed that mommy had made a rainbow. Just like in the picture. Man, that hell of There's throwback. something different about this narrator. He sounds a lot like he's narrating a nature documentary. The ocean. From above, a sample blanket of water. Very true. But Very below, true. a complex world full of color, life, and wonder. Like, well, I feel like this, I just got transported in time back to 2007, and I walked into biology class. Yeah, there's there's no books that's been ejected. And we're already watching videos. This is crazy. This is a hell of a nigga. I feel great. <laughs> ah, the sea, so fascinating, so wonderful. Here we see Bikini Bottom teeming with life. What if I told you that he's not just some random disembodied voice? He's an actual character in this universe. Cat. Here we are again at the Bikini Bottom boating school. Today is once again the day of SpongeBob's boating school exam. But more importantly, this is the last test for the year. And if SpongeBob does not pass this one, it means another whole year of boating school! Oh, damn. SpongeBob literally crashes into the fourth wall, and we actually get to see the narrator and the camera he's been filming with. The show SpongeBob Yo! SquarePants is not just a cartoon. What? Everything we see is a part of a nature documentary television show being filmed by scuba divers. And if you're still not convinced, I searched really, really hard and found an Yo, old SpongeBob hello. DVD bonus feature that basically confirms everything. Since before time even existed, land-loving scientists have tried to learn the secrets of intelligence. Their studies led them to the sea, where the citizens of one undersea colony demonstrated a genius so enormous, the scientists See? felt compelled okay, you to understand record now, Alex? actions for use in teaching mankind how to live better. The name of this miraculous place? Bikini, Bikini Bottom. Bottom. Pouring wow. over the mass of brainy masterminds scattered about this strange land, the scientists chose six Bikini Bottom residents at random to study. As the scientists marveled at the advanced knowledge and superior now, intellect of these six thing. creatures, I went to college! They rolled their cameras and took notes. And now, finally, we can learn all of the things that these smarty pantses have to teach us. Life lessons from Bikini Bottom. 
I don't know how it can get any more clear than that. Now, if you rewatch the show True. with this new information in mind, some things start to take on a whole new meaning. Throughout the series, there's this weird, unexplained running gag of a human hand interfering with the characters. It's even in the beginning of every episode in the intro for the show. Maybe the filmmakers are doing a bit more than just studying these characters. The hand seems to mostly they interfere with the reality the show. And safety of the characters, like treating SpongeBob for the suds. Well, Mr. Squarepants, it seems you have the suds. suds. Are you ready for your treatment? Oh, Hans! They filming a fucking reality show. It makes sense that the filmmakers <laughs> don't want to risk the safety of their main character. After all, there's no show without SpongeBob. But that's not the only reason why they interfere. Bro. Season 3, episode 16, I Had an Accident, is infamous for having one of the most absurd, confusing endings in the entire show. It ends with a real gorilla suddenly coming out of a Patrick costume and attacking the characters. A real gorilla? I remember this. How the fuck is he breathing in the water, though? <laughs> So I use the actual cell. Then as soon as SpongeBob begins to question the logic of the scene, this happens. What's a gorilla doing underwater in the first place? Oh, uh, well, it, it's funny you should, I mean, the, see the two. Uh, George, they're on the us. It's one of the... Let's get out of here. One of the city citizens. One of the townsmen. SpongeBob is a weird show, but this has always stuck out as being just a little too weird. Yeah. But knowing what we know now, I think I can explain what's going on here. This isn't a real gorilla. Every other land animal Obviously. we've seen underwater wears a helmet and is drawn in a cartoony style. The gorilla is shown in a live action style, and the only time we ever see live action characters is when they're human. So I believe both the gorilla and the horse he rides away on are humans wearing costumes. The filmmakers set this whole thing up just to make the episode more entertaining. It's starting to seem like this isn't strictly a nature documentary anymore. It's more of a reality TV wow. show made for entertainment. Wow, those are all okay. the absurd elements of the show are actually put there by the filmmakers to make the show more entertaining and profitable. Although, based on the people's reaction, it doesn't always seem to pay off. But how far will the filmmakers go to make the show more profitable? Ah, uh, Saturday morning in Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob is watching his favorite Saturday morning show, The Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, enjoying a bowl of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy brand cereal, and oh wearing God. the official Mermaid Man oh and God. Barnacle Boy breakfast bikers. If we think of this as a television show, this sounds an awful lot like a product placement. Mm. I mean, listen to how the narrator specifically says brand the full names of the products. The Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Brand new Mermaid Man and rock. Barnacle Boy brand cereal. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy breakfast bikers. Why don't you let me fix you some of this new Mo Coco drink? All natural cocoa beans from the upper slopes of Mount Nicaragua. No artificial sweeteners. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Maybe the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy TV show is actually from the surface world. They are human after all. It makes sense that the filmmakers would choose to highlight these popular superhero characters. The more they show, the more they're gonna sell Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy merchandise. Hang on a second, why are Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy the same size as all the fish in Bikini Bottom, even though humans are always shown as massive compared to fish? Uh, wh whatever, I'll, I'll come back to that one later. The show doesn't okay, even okay, just okay, high okay, product okay. placements. In the episode Model Sponge, they literally trick SpongeBob into making a commercial for a human product. I'm ready for my close up, Mr. Director. Very well. Lose the pants! Pants! There's my star! What's happening? What's happening? In this scene, oh. we'll be cleaning bathroom fixtures. Okay. That's a waste of cleaning utensil. You are. You are. Don't you get it? You are the cleaning utensil. Oh no, your bathroom is a disaster. Get it cleaned up fast with the new sponge. <laughs> Household chores are a snap with new sponge. It cleans. Man, they did one boy dirty. Even though he is fun. Just look at that shine. This is just like in real life how Spongebob is such a popular character that he's used to sell tons and tons of products. Mm -hmm. hey, get some money there! Get some money there, Alex! Okay guys, so this is the ultimate life hack for buying all this new gaming stuff for cheap. Okay, so first, go to one of your-
So far, I've shown you that the show SpongeBob SquarePants is actually a documentary television show, right? but the creators continually interfere. So, what you got? What you got? What you got? So, 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 it brings up a question. What's the question, pimp? If this is a TV show, right? Does that mean everything with Squillium is fraud? Like, all that is not, it's just an, an added bonus. To further they the added plot. they added Squilliam to mess with Squidward. Not like the main like character. you think could they have written that in written in? Well, they're they're it's a nature documentary, so I don't know. I, hmm. I'm gonna go with they added Squilliam, but it's a nature so, how, boy. How are they gonna add it? It's animal? a reality show, but it's a nature documentary. But it's also a reality show in True. nature in the Kardashians. It's their life, but they're adding things to, or in any reality show they that we know, of, they add drama to make them fight. Okay. Or to push their own agendas and make more money. But that brings us to an important question. Do the characters know they're in a television show? Let's go back to that clip where SpongeBob hits the cameraman. It means another whole year of birthday school! Yup, he ran into that right. Oh, oh, he ran. What happened? I don't oh, remember that scene. SpongeBob. You just struck another pedestrian. Mrs. Puff calls him a pedestrian, which sounds more like she thinks he's just some random bikini bottom citizen. The different types of marine life in SpongeBob are so diverse They're and weird looking not. that it's not too hard to believe that the characters just think these filmmakers are another weird type of fish. And back to the gorilla episode, the gorilla and the horse immediately get nervous and run away when SpongeBob questions what's going on. <laughs> Uh, well, it, it's funny you should. I mean, I don't think they know. George, yeah, they're yeah. onto us. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Almost like the creators don't want the characters to be aware their lives are being interfered with. Now, there isn't a yeah, ton so of footage I don't of the think characters added, interacting really. with the filmmakers, but I dug really, really deep and found the smoking gun that answers all of our questions. This is an old commercial from 2004 made to promote the SpongeBob movie. <laughs> SpongeBob. What kind of jellyfish is that? It's not a jellyfish, Patrick. It's a spaceship. Is that a camera? This is a submarine. Hey guys, it's Carlos from the Zone. Oh, I was submarine. wondering if you could answer a few questions. Questions? Run for your lives! No, Pat, don't you see? It wants to learn about our world, and it's chosen us. What's well, yay! <laughs> We've been chosen. Yeah, the submarine comes down to SpongeBob and Patrick to ask questions to promote the new movie. SpongeBob and Patrick are clearly confused by this and think the submarine is some kind of alien. They also have no idea that they're the stars of a movie. Well, thanks guys. We'll see you in the movie. Bye. Movie? What's that? I don't know. I thought they had a movie theater. <laughs> so I think it's pretty clear at this yeah, point that the they characters are unaware shows. their lives are being. Remember when they had the breath in the movie theater? They showed them. And they was breathing on each other. <sighs> yeah. Old filmed and interfered with. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that have to have some level of awareness. For example, the doctor fish the that doctor taught the human knows. hand to treat SpongeBob, and the director fish that directed the commercial for the human world. What makes these characters so special? First off, the director fish isn't actually from Bikini Bottom. Before he directed this commercial, we saw him as a citizen of New Kelp City in the episode Whatever Happened to Spongebob. Out of all the characters they could have used, they specifically chose a character from out of town. Almost like the filmmakers didn't want to use anyone in Bikini Bottom so they wouldn't risk everyone finding out about the television show. Then there's the doctor fish. We don't know where he originally came from, but he's an extremely suspicious character. Usually he's purple, but sometimes he's orange, sometimes he's purple with orange hands, sometimes he's a pirate, and he bears a striking resemblance to Dr. Manowar from the Jellyfish Convention. And now it only hurts when you touch it. <laughs> touch. Why like does he have so many different disguises and identities? What is he hiding? I believe hidden throughout He's an actor. are spies like this who are aware they're in a television show and keep tabs on the main characters. Damn, that nigga was sucking the fuck out of that burger. You saw that nigga? <laughs> Wait, um, are spies like this who are aware they're in a Look at this nigga in the front. A television show and keep oh, talking. That nigga is stuck in that hole now. Main characters and make sure everything goes to plan. There's so many suspicious characters in Bikini Bottom that it could literally be anyone. The mailman, the hot dog vendor, old man Jenkins. It could literally be anyone. But what if I told you that the biggest spy of all isn't some random side character. Oh, it's shit. one of the main characters oh, of the shit. show. 
Sandy! Been there from the very beginning. Magic. Someone who's not even from Bikini Bottom. Sandy! Someone Sandy! I just said that! You didn't hear that shit? No, I wasn't listening. Oh, I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> oh, you motherfucker! Sometimes, like, when you talk, I forget you exist. Oh, you motherfucker. God Who's damn. not even from the ocean. That's Sandy. right. Sandy. Sandy Cheeks. Damn. Sandy Cheeks is the thrill-seeking scientific squirrel from Texas who lives underwater in her tree dome. But why did she come to Bikini Bottom? In the episode Chimps Ahoy, we find out she was hired by a group of chimpanzees to come underwater and create inventions. But why does she need to be underwater why to make inventions? On, yeah. She could have just as easily have made any of her inventions on land. It sure. must be extremely expensive to maintain a giant dome of air underwater. There is no way the only unless reason they, she's here is unless to... Unless those aren't real chimpanzees. Well, no, never mind, never mind. Make random inventions. I think this whole episode is an elaborate ruse to throw off the other characters from the real reason Sandy is in Bikini Bottom. To spy on the main characters and make sure the show stays on track. Many of the times okay, the characters okay. are in danger, Sandy conveniently steps in to save the day. And many of the wacky, entertaining episode plots are driven by an invention Sandy creates. Everything she does is a calculated move to carry out the hidden agenda of the filmmakers. Her entire friendship with Spongebob and the other characters is built on a lie. Wow. But you're probably saying, Sandy is a sweet, it. friendly squirrel. There's no way she's behind this. Texas, you're not though. convinced yet? No, no. That's okay because what I'm about to show you is so mind-blowing, so insanely revealing, that it's actually the whole reason I decided to make this video. You're good You're at this, Alex. Big one. You're fucking You're good Season good 10, episode 10, oh, Feral shit. Friends, is the episode that unlocks this oh, entire shit. mystery. During a birthday party, a green moon suddenly appears and turns everyone except Sandy into less evolved, real-life versions of themselves. Sandy is completely caught off guard by this and decides to call someone for help. And take a guess, who she calls. Huh. The submarine. Hello, French narrator speaking. Hi, Frenchie. It's me, Sandy. Ah, uh, Sandy Cheeks. How is it hanging? Uh, oh, it's not hanging too good, Frenchie. You see, there's this. Don't say another word. I have been monitoring the behavior of the green moon all day. Huh. Yeah, I guess that's a pretty interesting clip, yeah. Holy shit! Sandy literally calls the narrator to let him know what's going on and ask for instructions on what to do next. She has been working Direct with the line. entire fucking time. He even has a picture of her on his desk. This is where I originally planned on ending the video, but there is still one small issue with the television theory. Just one nagging plot hole that contradicts everything. If this is all a television show filmed by scuba divers, then how are we seeing inside the buildings? It's not like any of the humans filming the show could fit inside them. It's the one annoying thing- Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Damn near. They're the cameraman. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. That keeps this theory from being complete. I mean, the most logical explanation is that they have hidden cameras inside of everyone's homes, but we never really see anything like that. Holy shit. Season 6, episode 24, Truth or Square. The SpongeBob 10th anniversary special where they reveal lots of stuff about the characters. But the most damning piece of evidence comes from when the characters get lost in the Krusty Krab vents and end up in a room full of monitors showing live footage of all of their homes. I didn't see that episode. Oh, my house is on TV. Oh, I didn't see that episode. You get down from that bed this instant. Hey, there's my house. Nigga, wow. Look, it's Sandy. <laughs> and who is the character responsible for all of these hidden Mr. cameras? Krabs. Mr. Krabs, why do you have cameras watching us? <laughs> no, but uh, I just want to make sure you all floss after every meal. Nigga. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, Krabs. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very important. Dental hygiene? Eugene, you lying bastard. Huh. Of course. I thought he was about to say, you <laughs> lying bitch. <laughs> he would sell out his friends for a quick buck. And if there's any part of you that thinks there's some chance Mr. Krabs has all these hidden cameras for some other reason, then take a look at what happens next. Hey, who are those guys? I think it's us, Patrick. But who are they? <laughs> All right, they're not even trying to hide it anymore. A cameraman and a boom operator have been following around the characters this entire time. And just like the gorilla, as soon as they get seen, they make a run for it. The case is closed. 
used. Uh, television! The television theory is something the television. show has consistently alluded to from the very first episode to the newest episodes. Maybe one day the show will actually directly address it and our characters will discover the real truth about the world. Going? But regardless, that's my theory. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure to subscribe okay. if you want to see more. See you next time. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a second. You thought I forgot about the Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy thing, I didn't did. you? All right, here's a quick bonus theory. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy were two superheroes that fought crime underwater and protected- The Wajumbo belt. The belt. It's the fucking belt. It's the fucking belt. ...to the sea from evil. Whether or not they actually did this or it was all staged for television isn't clear, but they both spent their lives underwater until they became old and retired. But after spending so much time under the sea, they no longer fit in with human society. Plus, Mermaid Man is clearly dealing with some form of dementia and PTSD from fighting evil. But you can't retire. There's evil afoot. What? Evil! Evil! So, they decided to live the rest of their lives in Bikini Bottom. And in order to fit in better with their fellow sea creatures, they made the, the fucking decision belt. decision to shrink themselves using the Mermaid fucking Man's belt. shrinking belt. Damn. The case is closed. Damn. Again. Okay, Alex. You're good at what you fucking do, man. You're good at what you fucking do. That's nice, a lot of research nice. went into that thing. I can totally get with it, man. If you will, what to do, crew. And you if you real, what to do, crew. You made it this far. Give them the word, player. Comment, Krabby Batty. Krabby Batty. Ooh, from a DPS track. And if it's fun, all right. Comment, Krabby Batty, and we'll catch you in the next one.